So next, I want to bring up another new friend who has Ability Fierce, Nick Astor. Welcome to Track 187. Most people say break a leg when you do comedy. <laughs> How about them cyclones? That's the only sports joke I got. Um, I really, I just made a set for this, and then this morning I look, and it's just like a poster of like something baseball related. I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't really understand it. And I was like, me, baseball? Hmm. But then I thought about it. Me, baseball, it can actually work. Allow me to explain. I think, I, baseball is the only sport I could play because I could just walk on until I make a home run. <laughs> so I'm just going to slowly walk my way onto the home plate and score a point. <laughs> One ball at a time. I just came back from my freshman year of college. Um, and college is weird, man. You realize things that you don't really realize until you've gone to college. Like I didn't realize I actually had to clean my room for it to be clean. <laughs> I just, uh, and the floor started turning a weird color and I was like, ah, I have to clean now. <laughs> I started working out in college. And the only reason I didn't work out before is because I didn't think working out was a real thing that people did. I was talking to someone about this and they were like, Oh, they serve pizza at Planet Fitness. <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute. I need to start a gym. Because think about it. You work out and you lose the weight you want to lose. And then some guy in the corner is like, yo, you want some pizza? And you go weigh yourself and you weigh exactly the same. Because you ate the pizza. And suddenly you have to renew your gym membership because you can't lose weight. It's brilliant. <laughs> but I don't work out because I realize it's a scam. And until I have enough money to open the gym, I can't profit on that scam. <laughs> but what I do is I go swimming. There's one problem. Every time I swim to a trained lifeguard, I look like I'm drowning. <laughs> now, usually, when little Nick used to go swimming in the Red Hook pool, the lifeguard would be like, hey, that kid's drowning. And my dad would be like, fuck off, he's swimming. <laughs> Problem solved. But now, I'm a grown man. I gotta figure this out by myself. So I go to the school pool, we have a gym, and I turn to the nearest lifeguard and I go, look, I swim but I look like I'm drowning. I promise you I'm not drowning. He goes, okay, cool, whatever. Uh, so I walk down, and I see him mumble something into the walkie-talkie. And another lifeguard comes down. And I'm like, I guess I'm gonna have to explain this again. So I go up to the second lifeguard, and I go, I look like I'm drowning, but I promise you I'm not drowning. And he goes, yeah, 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 we heard you the first time. So I, I start walking towards the pool, I'm halfway towards the pool, and there's a third lifeguard with a life raft. And I'm like, what's the worst that happened? They're going to save me from swimming? That's just embarrassing for them. <laughs> and I just start swimming, and I hear from the back of my ear, oh, he just swims funny. But now I have a new problem. I can't drown. <laughs> you know why? Because they're going to think that I'm swimming. <laughs> so I'm getting really good at swimming. To compensate, it's great. I don't really have a lot of baseball experience. The best I had was when my dad would take me to go see the Cyclones, right? And one time, I, my mother's Brazilian, I'm from Brazil. My, whole, my mother's whole family was there, right? And my dad's like, we're going to take him to a baseball game, show him what America's like. I was like, okay. And you know, like, you ever watch a baseball movie? There's always that moment where it's like, the underdogs win, and it's like, God bless America, and everything's right in the world or whatever. I think he was expecting them to have that moment when we watched the Cyclones. But we're sitting there, and the ninth inning's over, 
And he goes, huh? And they go, this is America? <laughs> and that's my baseball experience. All right, thank you a lot. Nick Astor, you guys. How terrific is Nick? Thank you for being here.